Hello artist. Welcome to the artist part. This is your host Barsha 60 Rai Doodler and today this is our guest Biswajit. Welcome Biswajit to the podcast. So today's topic is how to start digital art from scratch. So our first question is tell us about yourself. I am Biswajit Panda from Odisha. I am 17 years old and I didn't learn I didn't learn art from anywhere but I started by my own then I took it seriously and then now I am improving so when did you started art I was small like I was in 5th or 6th grade when I took it little seriously but uh, with some works uh, schools and that I didn't focus on it now in lockdown I got to do that so you are a doodler or a freelance artist no, i am not a doodler i work on realistic things like in traditional way and digital way also but i will try doodling soon i am just learning some tricks i have one like suggestion for you because currently you can see there are very artists who used to do realistic drawing but uh, they didn't get like the cloud they want i can not say cloud it's not the right word the attention they deserve was not in that so you should start doodles in realistic but way here i can object you i can tell you that if you use it in a smart way not in a traditional way like doing realistic things with recording a video and then putting it with the background music that will not bring you views you have to try something smart and something new that's a good one i'm sure it will help many realistic artists there in 2021 in this lockdown because i tried something new and at first i didn't understand any of the features i thought of leaving it and then i studied it with all the features trying everything remember everything that you have to experiment everything you have to try everything not you have to read and learn that will not help you you have to try it first and is it suitable for you you will then understand so i tried it then now i am also improving that's a good word you need you need to get your hands dirty if you want to learn something yes it's not easy so what do you use to draw art is it an ipad or a drawing tablet no i don't have a tablet i will buy a ipad i'm thinking of that but now i recently use my own phone i have a samsung phone so and the app called edis paintex so for one suggestion i tell every artist because if you are on phone and you don't have any fancy software there are two options if you want to buy you can get infinite painter or there is a free one for us broke artists ibis paint it will definitely help many artists because it has a wide range of brushes but i personally feel that i am comfortable with this paint because i am using it since many months so now i am getting it every feature so i can use it all right how did you started animation i recently watched some videos on youtube and as i told i had to experiment it so this was my experiment that I had to try but this was a fail so I will go deep inside animation as I will do a online course so after that I will have much more yes so the animation you did on mobile the project jdx like the futuristic tokyo thing the edits it was like very good I will use this in podcast don't give me a copyright strike just kidding bro so our next question is what is your inspiration for art 
I personally don't have an inspiration. I try to be my own inspiration because I copy some of the artworks because you have to copy it to become something great. Artists always copy, and copying is not cheating. You are doing it on your own. So that's true. So I try something unique, and I put my some mind and go inside trend. I do a balance so that it becomes something unique. So what was your inspiration for animation? Like anime, Naruto, or what was that? Yes, it was that. anime i was that one punch man and then i studied it like fight scenes up to 6 times like in slow mo and then break downs then i think thought that i should try it once so i did so the series we worked on project jedex it was very well praised by the people people really liked it because as we know people start animation series it is not that top notch level but if we like study through our series project jedex if we go through project jedex we can clearly see that it is very much futuristic first of all then we can say the villains you made like we worked on the villains and it was very good and if i am correct spoiler alert if you anyone have not watched it so the guy i was giving the voice it was narrator but it was the master am i right so the master was like the black kingsman figure yeah which we will reveal soon and if we go through your instagram page you draw digital art and please tell me about the layering of it i try layering by using a normal brush and like uh, i do color grading and then i use dark to light brushes colors and then i go by line by line by line and then i mix the whole thing and some special effects after that and it's done it's that simple but when you use that brush you have to be like consistent and be patient to make it such a good word it will definitely help many artists and so we worked on two collabs already and this is our third collaboration yes. so in the first collab you draw black panther so what you used to draw it like color pencils or what Yes, I used color pencils. I used the fiber castles watercolor pencils that I was gifted when I was like in sixth or fifth grade. So I had it from that day because I generally don't use color pencils. So. And I can tell you, collaborating with you was very good experience. I learned a lot from it. So you make a lot of like fan, what we say, fan art. We can say you do Akash Bagla, if I'm correct. Akash Bagla. Akash Bagla, yeah, yeah, sorry. So how did you draw it? I also used color pencils for that. I first tried the outline, and when it got perfect, I filled the internal details. and then directly i pushed it to color pencils the color grading as i said then from light to dark and then making it mix so why did you reveal the face too early because i had my studio ready so i didn't want to take it for long because i generally think that if my viewers are watching me they should know me Mm, that's that's also correct thing and if we go through your channel the current thing is you are you were inactive for free t- for like a few months am i right mm-hmm. and at that time you suddenly switched your style yes i did and even 
and we can see in your Instagram there is a pattern of art. At first, you are just trying, like a, every other artist. That's like yes. a common pattern we can see, and we can see it going. And suddenly, we can say you are like professional artist then. Scenes after that, an actor portrait. What's the name of it? Ram Pothi Neni. After that portrait, you are like professional. Can you tell us what you did to draw so much realistic? First, I tried to draw that Hrithik Roshan song, and then it was a big fail. I accept that because that I was new to charcoal and I was new to portraits. So I took. opinion and some suggestions from a good artist art man under we really tried we tried everything and he said every medium to use and like he helped me a lot so i improved in second sketch only to the ramp potinani and then i improved myself so we can also see you drew stark tower yes So what so, you used to draw it? Is it pencils or what? Yes, it is pencils. It I used charcoal only, but that white windows thing that I used a white highlighter and that needed a lot of patience, which I didn't had. I drew it half and then I was like frustrated and then I tried to concentrate and then second day I again like did it. If you are going frustrated, then it it doesn't mean that you don't have patience. It is like you have, but you have reached your limits. Then you rest a little, then try again. That's the thing. Like I can also say for doodlers, especially we can see a lot of hurry. It also like big artists. So how do you do line art of your art? I don't do line art. I just study the photo a little bit. I just uh, Think that where the outline should go, and I just took take some measurements, and then I try to do that on paper or on digital art. And after trying a lot, erasing and trying, erasing and trying, it was like that. Did you got any like sponsorship, like commissions and all? No, I didn't get any sponsorship, but I get lot of commission artworks. Can you give me few few tips for commission artworks? Commission artworks means that you have to get satisfied with yourself that you have done it good. Not like if you have done anything in a hurry and that no one will pay for you. So you have to be consistent and you have to be as realistic as possible, as parallel to the photo. And can you tell me few secrets about your YouTube journey? I do not have any secrets. I just had posted some, like I had did. I did a dragon, like in cardboard and some waste materials. I posted it like too too early, and then I didn't get much views or likes. And I first did a, some crafts videos. But it didn't get some views and likes. Then I tried art, and now I can see art is going growing as well. So you also do art craft in the in meanwhile of it because you make a spider man. It yes. Can we consider it as craft or art? Yes, it is craft, and the details I consider as art. That's a good one. You also started a series, if I am right. Make it real. What is it? It's like people who are not artists even can give their like childhood artworks and anything. I try to make it real with their suggestions, like which color or which character should I make out of this. So I had to close it because in part three. I improved it a little, and I tried something hard, but I didn't get much views. So now I have to close it. And you also did a 2021 revive, and yes. also like big YouTubers reacted to you. If you so, don't mind, can we react on that video? 
Yeah, for sure. All right. If it will be great, I will cut the part. Yeah. Can you see my screen? All right, guys. We are gonna react on Vishnujit's one of the video. Let's go. It's very realistic here. The skull, the effect. This so, was I tried it. Yeah, the transitions are good. Akshbagla Kanaria. Techno gamers. Yo, he got reacted. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good actually. It's DVA time, am I right? Yeah, it's DVA yes. time. It's DVA time. Is it you? No, it's DVA time. You drew it. No, I didn't do it. I did one Anubis one. Yeah, yeah, remember. yeah. The first one. The first one. So this was a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. This is Black Panther one. Wakanda forever. It is for our collab, yeah? Yes. It shows the dragon one. It's the Godzilla, am I right? Mm -hmm. It's Godzilla? Is it? Yes, not it's not Godzilla, it's Earth Dragon. Earth Dragon. Yeah, for our collab. Mm -hmm. Damn. This was the doodle of Rex art. So it was a collab with him. That's great. Hey, wait, 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 pause it, pause it. Yeah, it was three Spider-Mans in my right in one mask. Yes. It was Andrew, Toby and Tom together. Yes. That's a good the idea. Top left one is Island Spider. Top right one is Toby Maguire. And in the down one is Andrew Garfield. That's great. No way home. And your edits are good actually. I do not use any software, I just use an app. That's great. Can you tell us which app? Yes, that app is called Vita. I oh, yeah. did everything and then I used my mind to edit and then this is the reason. This was the Make It Feel series. Hope I don't get copyright claim. No, no. Make it real. This series is literally dead. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's Tokyo Street. Or maybe China. The Night City. The Night City. Is this what we say? What was the white one? White thing you applied on the canvas? That was varnish to protect the paint and then apply a shiny layer. But it is like in the spray form, which Gox yes, uses. It is in the spray form and in the bottle form, but I prefer the bottle one. Oh. 
never knew it. It's ZX. Yes, it's ZX and no, it's not ZX. It's Tax and Venom. Yeah. The Dax is, if I remember, it's ZSC's character. Milta ugly yes. video. You drew that Dax is ZSC's character, am I right? Yes. Yo. This video is actually good. Uh, I didn't get much views. But it Don't is care it. about views, bro. Just go for it. Views oh, not gonna work. Yes. You do everything on mobile? Yes, I do. I generally prefer mobile because I do not have a laptop. Because I am, I should pass the twelfth exam first, then I'll get one. <laughs> all right, all right. So this Let's video spin. is the most viewed video. And uh, can I give you one suggestion? Yeah. If you want reach, don't see your own videos. And if you see, remove it from the library. Yes. yes. And even unlike them. <laughs> I will increase my likes, so I do it. It's gonna help actually. Okay. Because. Uh, of course, I used the free Skillshare classes. There, there is a guy like that. He told us, "Don't see your own videos because the algorithm will like it's no it's trash algorithm of YouTube." Yes, 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 yes. This video is like getting one a views in two to three days, increasing like. So now moving towards our next question. But as I can actually tell you, you worked a lot. You work very hard on your YouTube. Yes. And even on Instagram, you can say that's a lot of hard work. I generally prefer not quality. Not quantity, but quality. And as I can say, you should probably start doodling. It's uh, like not just yes. doodling. Even draw your realistic part, and in other part, draw the doodles. Yes, it's I tried once doodling that lion and tiger one. Yeah. So our next question is your personal thoughts on Instagram and art community. Uh, my personal thoughts on Instagram are like those who like, deserve some views and likes. They generally do, don't get them, but someone who does things get them. It's obvious because people generally prefer watching them. And so, the other thing, yeah. And I can say the other thing, which is like you see the trend now in India, the kacha badam shit. Yes, yes. That girl was just dancing on the mirror and shaking that shit. But we work this hard. We went at studies, art, and all the shit. And even the pressure we have to shit about them. But we don't get the recognition we deserve. But uh, really don't hurts. I don't prefer like I don't get this, so it's not my fault. I prefer that I am not getting it. I will take it. Yeah, but uh, we can say people's taste. We can say currently all the artists are here. We are like still thinking like about 2016-15 YouTube like typical YouTube. Can say mindset. We still have that. Many of the artists need to apply the. We need to be practical now, because YouTube and the social media is now changed. We are going to get to metaverse now, and it's a game-changing shit. Now we can even sell NFTs. <clears throat> so 
now secrets of editing <laughs> that uh, I, i don't have any secrets of editing i revealed it i use the app vita i use some vita doesn't support i don't know only in my phone or the app cannot support like high quality editing it generally crashes but i try to do it since i will get my own pc in this march so i will shift to software editing editing secrets are nothing like you have to focus apply your smart mind like creative mind editing is also an art if you apply some creativity it does look good and tell us about the transitions you use in video they are literally very transitions, catchy transitions i use that graphic transitions which i some downloaded from google and some like the app had and these are basic transitions every app has but you got the sense where to use which transitions but many artists yes. now don't get it they like it's meaningless to put that zoom transition at all many artists are using it you have to try it you have to try every transition and then which look perfect that you will put so you use smartphone for digital art am i right yes yes and you use the stylus or like you draw with fingers no oh, i drew with fingers but yeah. i am now use stylus so the project jdx you use stylus or not in project jdx yes i use stylus yeah so can i ask you for like for knowledge in like animation can we use like layering animation yes we can use layering like first line art basic sketches that will look like they are moving in a smooth way not in a rough way then the second layer putting colors third layer putting shadings fourth layer putting some side effects side putting some <laughs> effects like <laughs> putting some <laughs> effects like <laughs> putting some effects like uh, special effects but the more you to put the layers the uh, realistic it will look so we can say if we start digital art the first thing people is use the like what we say gaussian blur on the layer it will like make it realistic it Am will right? make it realistic but it will not make it sharp you have to use the brushes as to as the need of shading like if you have to do some outlines with sharp lines you have to use normal brush but if you have to like cover all the shading parts you have to use that and another one many people do this mistake when they start digital art they think to mix two colors on ibis paint or any other software they use blur word blur brush mm-hmm. and it's the big mistake i can say this yes it is for Because... you don't use that dip pen at all the normal brush use the watercolor ones gouache ones the yes. gouache ones use but i then generally don't use any like other brushes i only use basic brushes and that shading brushes the shading brushes yeah i can show you my recent project Yeah, yeah, sure. This is the project. Like the yeah. hair is not done yet, but I generally use these brushes. I the, use the uh, first two brushes I generally and use. And for the shining effect, yeah. depends soft. I don't use any effect brushes, but I use airbrush and depend. Both can do all the work. Yeah, bro. Can you please zoom on the muscles? this had the like this muscles took me like 3 to 4 days work on it bro this is going to be banger and this i literally 
I focus yeah. on details so that makes it really clear. I can say this is Goku even like is it Naruto or Goku? It is Goku. Yeah. Going Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Work on it. Make it completed. It's gonna be like. Yes. Even can you just like zoom on the clothes torn apart, blue and yellow and both. Yes, yes. Yeah, and even like where the orange clothes meets blue cloth. Yes, I first did it, and then I used some details. Like these details are not complete, where the blue one is torn and the skin is appearing. I will do some shadings there, and then I did it like this. Yeah, that's so cool. Please work on it and make it completed. Yes, yes. It will take some days, but we'll surely do it. Yeah, man. Give us few tips to draw like this. You just need like patience and work on details. Do something creative, like something creative topic on your own. Because if you copy something. You will not get satisfied with your own drawing because the other one will be obviously good because you can't copy the same. So try to apply something that you are good and apply some creativity. Yeah, I love this Goku one. Okay. The clothes led like the hand touring and it's like very yeah. And this will come in some days. I will complete it. Yeah, I like this. And my last question is three tips for me. Tips for you is don't post regularly. If you want followers, don't like concentrate on quantity, but uh, like work on quality. Like uh, take some days. Do some hard work, and then I concentrate on quality, not and quantity. Inspired by your artworks, I drew this Parshura illustration. Is it good? Ah uh, yes, I saw it. But which one did you get like inspiration from? Wait, I can send you on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. And even I drew this. I will even send this. These two illustrations, can you tell me, is this improved? Because you're like a big artist. Yes, this is improved, but I will try some suggestions because on the body part, it is not looking like hand is folded. Try something dark. Means like the hand is folded, then you have like literally used airbrush or like which brush you're using. True, true. true. So, So, so tell me about how to draw like details. skin. How to draw skin like that? It's like very I focus say. on details, lighting and general focus on the skin color. Then like dark sides you will like go you will go there to dark side like mix it and go to the dark side and then if the light is coming then you have to mix it and go to the light side. You have to just see that where from the light is coming and where from you want to do it. The light source and the dark source. You have to like do that and in like sharp skin details. Got it. Got it. Thank you. And tell me the what to say the other details like the eyes. Is it good? Yes, it is good because you are in ninth grade, I guess. It yeah. is good in your age, so I will tell that just little improvement. 
because uh, some details some minor details are there right? the face part is good but the hair is like bad am i right hair you have to like you use texture brushes i have seen but don't use texture brushes you just do it and then you use like uh, air brush or something with very like very sharp tip and then go for the small details by zooming in very much well. but i can say the biggest problem now is if you use uh, ibis paint or ipad it's like very bad you can say i can not yes. i'm not saying if this, you have but... ipad then you should use the software that it has given this pro create <laughs> but i am broke as fuck <laughs> everyone is because ipad is but it's a old one it's an yes. old one but ibis paint also work hardly on it but uh, so i prefer to do it in android that's all but ibs paint doesn't give that much quality like you are working on it and it doesn't give you that much quality when you export it that's true for that it is procreate but it's like very much expensive yes i will buy it and can you give me suggestions about blending on digital art and even on traditional art blending is like you have to get some patience and you have to work it like up to when it is not totally merged you cannot see the line difference of this color and this color divided you have to like totally mix it and if traditional the paint should not dry you have to work fast fast but not with no patience you have to work fast with patience and in digital you have to work as much like uh, it should not like divide the colors it should mix it totally that's great bro thank you and can you tell me how i is it good like this this artwork yes it is good but some improvements needed can you like tell me that, that i said like focus on body details and focus on main body details like the hand where it is like that and i show you this one is this landscape part good yes it is good so tell me what i should do to improve this one you have to apply something creative mind and you work on like if the this tree is like in front the color is like light one and if it is in back like the same color with little black or dark shading and then when it goes back to back dark color increases that's helpful bro thank you and can you i know we started like at the same time we became like we got 100 followers together but uh, i don't know why i got so much following and mainly of them are bots out of my 1k followers i can say 300 are bots my account is dead can you give me some suggestions for that i will give you that don't focus on quantity focus on quality like work in a artwork some days and then post it so do you get any like i can say some inspiration like what we say what do you get inspiration from digital art like landscape ones do you draw any landscape no i generally don't prefer any landscapes i very rarely do some but i never tried landscapes on digital art i tried it on traditional ones so the last thing three tips for me uh, like, like you have to be patient and mix everything like do not give the color div- divided like the line should not show you have to mix it like 
up to some time and you have to like you should be satisfied with your own reason and i see few tutorials on skillshare and all they say get the composition right what does it mean composition right means like you have to like do do it the raw one you have to do it in such a way that it like it is 70% complete the raw one should be 70% complete and then when you use air brushes that should be the more 30% yeah that's a lot of help for so these were the questions that burning questions of this podcast thank you bishwajit for coming to the podcast this is an artist for an artist podcast we will help you to overcome the art block and all the problems you get on art thank you bishwajit and one tip for the audience who are watching this if the artists are watching be patient work on your artwork for days months if you need but you should be satisfied with your own result them that's helpful it's going to help many artists so arsh 69 your host this is viswajit panda thank you for watching thank you viswajit for coming